Hello and welcome to a new video and a brand new um, collection. Um, Brave New World is the new collection for May 2020 and it's huge, it's colorful and I would say it's meaningful and um, I like to go with you through the packs now and um, show you what I've created for you. So these are the previews here, what you can see here. Um, you get a lot, lot of colorful stuff here, plus um, some neutral stuff and um, just let's go into the folders and check out what we have in the Artsy Bits and Pieces pack. You get four different um, packs to download here for the artsy bits and pieces and this is what you get um, just for example I love this one with the when you look at it closer you have here the Eiffel Tower in Paris you have you have the is this Kuala Lumpur those um, towers then we have I don't know this and then we have we have the Big Ben, then we have here Russia, Moscow, and we have the Tower in Pisa, Italy, and they are all on this um, curved world here. So this is a pretty neat um, element and also here you have those hands with the world. So I like to to catch up this theme, this brave new world, because we are in a kind of new world now um, with this crisis we are into, and um, I like I like to um, put uh, that into this collection. Um, it's not Corona related, so you don't find any Corona related word arts in it, but um, it shall express a little bit what will come up and this is something that um, can be very colorful nevertheless we are in a crisis so um, yes this is what I like to to uh, express here so we have here all those artsy bits and then we go into the next folder in the B folder here we have a lot lot of um, different butterflies um, I love butterflies and um, I couldn't stop any to, to create them so um, they turned out the, a lot here. Then we have some um, paper flowers here, different flowers and then we have some foliage here also in different ways some with um, some colorful here uh, and then we have also once they are black and a little bit messy and grungy so they have a stamped look and then um, then we have some gesso ones as well here um, this is the B folder and then we have the C folder here we have some re realistic elements bows um, such fabric f um, flowers and then we have some clouds here and some fun frames like those ones. I like those um, tiered um, frames and this will come up, this look will come up also in the um, cards but they are not included in the collection. I will do an, another video extra for the cards. So I only want to mention them here. Um, yes, a lot of different frames here and of course you get some inks. Um, and then we have also beautiful uh, magic lights and here we have such a bottom string and then we have some paper flowers also always with a um, um, shadow version and all those paper cut elements and then we have the D folder here here we have some, well, black and white artsy bits and I love this pinwheel and coordinating here a rainbow um, flower and some twigs 
in flowers and stuff also. So we have four different folders or four folders for the artsy bits and pieces. Um, the next pack are the paints and they have, um, we have here um, in different colors they are and they are real realistic. This is how they look like. So you can uh, place them on top of each other and blend them if you like. This is the other one. And you can see here, they are all in different colors coordinating with the collection. And then we have this um, water dripping um, paints. And I love those strips, really, really love them. And you can um, multiply them on, pa on papers or on top of um, a photo, maybe a black and white photo, and then place that on top. And then you have this um, color stripping down over your photo. So that's an idea. And you have your thick corners, edges here as well. And um, this is how they look like. This is the um, the whole pack here. And also here you can see on the edges here this thick dried um, uh, paint. And it will give really cool effects on your pages. This is the preview for it. So um, all together you get 52 different um, drips and paints here. Um, the next folders are the, the tags. It's also a huge pack, so I couldn't limit myself again. So, and we have here some deco pieces, um, like eyelets, um, screws, staples, washi tapes in different colors and um, combination. And these are the, um, the tags here. So this is how they look like. They coordinate perfectly with the collection, but some there are some black ones and you can um, use them for any other collections as well. So this is uh, some frames we have here. They are of course perfectly if you if you do um, page pockets or journaling your pages and all together you get uh, 52 different uh, of those tags here, and plus the deco pieces. And then we have the word arts. Um, these are, uh, well, there are two different um, styles in this pack of word arts. Um, you get sticker style, and then we have those kind of um, tiered, paper style okay and so this is how they look like this is brave new world um i mixed up totally um the words um and this is how they look and i had also added here some um sticker icons like hearts um i like that how they um, go on top of each other and layered. Um, yes, this is how they look like. I love the peace sign. We have here some rainbows. Um, the smiley, the smile here. So totally different than the usual um, word art packs I do actually. So um, I hope you like it and I really love to, to, to create these packs and um, um, put them together for you. So um, this is the word art packs. Um, then we have the paper mix. The paper, paper mix is always um, mixed with um, different styles. We have the artsy packs, we have the, um, some pattern papers, we have... Um, wood papers here, we have um, papers in the uh, letter size here with drips and everything. If you hear something uh, laughing or anything in the background that's um, 
the family underneath me, they are quite loud. And um, yes, so it's not anything what you should feel disturbed. So, um, I like that one. Well, because it's turquoise, and I like the little pattern in the in the background. Also, that one is pretty nice with a little bit of um, um gesso stuff in the background. Also, those ones. I really like that one. I I don't know. It's um, I have the most fun creating those gesso papers with a, the different texture, but staying on a white with a lot of, or parts should be black and then a little bit of, of, of color or anything like that. Also, that one is pretty cool. I like that. Um, I think it's great to use um, as a um, in a mask or anything, not as how it is because it's really wild. Also, so we have here some a pattern with the flowers, um, totally texture here, dots, these are also cute. Also, that one is pretty cool. And um, yes, um, one of my CT girls really loved that one because of those inches. So they get pretty loud underneath. So I feel I'm sorry for that. Okay. So this is the, the pack with the mixed, uh, the paper mix. It's RT and letter size paper. So you get a huge pack with, uh, I think you get, wait, um, you get, where is 60, um, 30, 36 different papers are in this pack. And then we have the solid papers. Um, what I did with that pack is that you get um, um, a pattern paper, um, a, a solid paper, and then I created one with a soft pattern on top of, so we have here those um, waves, and this is the solid one, this yellow one here, and this is with some sparkles on top, that one. So you get really a huge variation of different papers um, in this um, pack now. I love that one. And um, here are some plain with a little bit of texture papers in white gray. And this is the pack with the solid papers. Okay, and then we go into the templates now, the weekly templates. I have already uploaded or in the channel, in the playlist of the Brave New World are um, uh, some um, videos I show you how to how I created the, the um, I'm totally... <laughs> Disturbed by this laughing down the at yeah, um, okay, the templates here, uh, the video you can see on the on the playlist as well of the Brave um, New World um, playlist. So um, how I created those previews and uh, this is what I um, uploaded as well as a video. Um, okay, we go to the to the extra pack so. Every time I have some extra um, templates here, and I should delete that because that's too much. So okay, um, you get here two different extra pages, and I like that one. That's pretty cool. That that one, um, this template. It's layered, of course, and um, you can create um, with it some pocket page style artsy pages with it and then we have one this is a one pager with um with the framing here and um both coordinate of course yes with the weekly templates and the weekly template for week 19 look like that we have the this some kind of dripping mask here in the background and then we have week 20 here also, I have here those dripping in the background with a huge 
watercolor um, mask in the background here and of course those artsy stems and some um, some of the um, those polka dots and this is how a layout can look like if you use this template and um, then we have the week 21 here this is also of course yes I am here the those strips and this is how the um, template look like and this is how it can look if you add some of your photos and then we have the last one it's week 22 and also here like always I have this huge mask in the background uh, uh, in a watercolor style and then we have those different frame and they are from top to to from the to the bottom here and um, this is how it can look like and this is how the template look empty and this is how it will come to you um, when you download it so this is it and now we go into the um, um, painter's toolbox and the painter's toolbox is pretty cool what I've created um Oh, let's let's go into the folder with the layouts from my creative team they did an absolute amazing job here with this um, collection I really love what I see as you can see um, with the I added those um, bright white um, papers and then you can create really not that bold colorful um, pages this one is pretty cool with this eye it uh, love it and the dripping um is so cool also here is so nice and of course um a little bit of corona co uh, related this is um done by mariana it's always um um her style she always can she always can create out of colorful um, collection something like that which is so beautiful and artsy also that one with those um, really cool pictures here and those ones also this ones it really is pretty cool here's um, the use of a lot of one of the word arts to see um, and this is created by um, Sharon I can remember um, and she made um, a kind of page pocket um, layout here and using this um, extra template and then we have this is also one of the templates here used also this this is pretty cool um, I love that um, this this black and white feeling here on this page and we have here a lot of colorful stuff in and this is something from the templates this is also pretty cool and looks very great also that one you see there is so much so much so many styles you can you can create with this um, um, collection so you can go into the artsy um, direction or you can go into the um, page pocket um, project lifestyle a um, little bit cleaner with an artsy touch so a um, lot of different um, ways to scrap here and this is um, a digital painting intuitive painting what I have created while I um, made the styles and um, brush tools and this is what I did with them so this is a layered Photoshop painting uh, and I used all the styles I have created for this collection and um, the brush tools and uh, now we go into the folders so we have the painters toolbox brush mix and this is what you get 
you get oh, over 90, as far I know, over 90 different um, brushes here. And they are um, also uh, included as a PNG, black PNG transparent of the files. So this is how they can look. And all those will um, you will get also as an um, ABR file um, to stamp around and they work in Photoshop and Photoshop Elements, a new and an old version. So um, you can use them also with any other collections, with any other styles or however you want to. And, and this is how they look like. I'm flipping through them very fast. Now that this video takes not too long. And um, yes, 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 yes. Oh, here we have the, the preview. And here is the ABR file. So this is the preview um, and this is the ABR file. And double click on it. I can open them. Then we have Oh yes, I have a little bit of a freebie going in, in this um, collection here. It's this word, uh, tomorrow is going to be a better day. And this is um, free to download in, at the Little Pet Shop. The next painter's toolbox um, is the brush tool, dynamic brush tools. And with that, I have painted this um, digital painting and um, the free colors of course as a style and uh, color swatch and then we have a huge huge set of um, styles and they are let me just for a second delete the zip files in between. This is when you not look through the folders when you start to create the video. So um, you get a huge pack. Or I think you get nine or ten different zip files to download because the the styles are always huge because they have this texture texture inside and this is how the preview looks like you get uh, I don't know over a hundred different styles really you get pattern styles you get color styles you get paint styles you get gesso styles um, you get artsy styles um, you get you get what else get you a uh, which styles as well so let's start here and um, only just um, a few bits I like to show you now. Not much because it will, will totally um, take too. It it would take too long to, for you to to show you everything, but um, that you have an idea. So these are the dynamic. Uh, that was not included here. So we have here um, all those dynamic. And what I need to say is if you use dynamic styles, they work only, or the most ones work only from Photoshop 6 up to, or the new versions. And in Photoshop Element, in older version, they also not work because they don't have this... Um, a machine of these tools with the dy dynamic um, um, output. They don't have that in the older version. So this is what you what you can do. You can paint. Um, let's see where are my swatches here for the collection. This is also what you get um, for free. So let's use that one. And you can create by yourself uh, your own backgrounds, for example, your own papers, if you like. And this is the combination. What you also can do is you always can change here in the mode here on top, color burn into um, something else like color dodge. 
and you can see it brightens like that one oops um i always need to say that if you if you use a painter's toolbox and especially especially those um dynamic brushes um you need to take time. It's something relaxing. You need to take time a little bit. Pick your a cup of coffee or anything you like to drink and sit, relax in front of your computer and load the, all those stuff and then start to play with it. Really start to go through all the brushes by yourself and without um, um, pressure yourself to make a layout or a painting. First, get to know what's in those tools. Um, they are um, that huge and, um, and so versatile that you need to learn how to use them. And as you can see here, you get here this, this wood character brush here. And of course, if you have now painted something, you can start to add uh, one of the styles here. And... Um, this is how you can start to create your own artsy page painting. So let's paint here a heart. And always start a new layer. That, that is what most important is um, if you do digital painting or anything because then you can change afterwards all this with the styles, the look of everything. This is um, now totally different here. And um, this is also pretty cool here. With that, you, for example, you can also create a mask. Okay. It, the color is, doesn't matter in that, um, in that uh, case. Um, Let's open extension, my Pixabay. No, this is something that's not working anymore. For me, the pixels I need to open, okay. So we pick here one of those. Um, it doesn't matter, just, I just use that one. Just a second downloads and needs a little bit. Okay, this is what you can do. You have now created with um, with this um, paint, this mask. And of course you can blend them. And if you use a more, maybe this noisy texture is something. And of course you can make all those um, brushes much bigger. Okay, so we have that one, and now we use oh those lovely ones. So the pictures together doesn't make any sense. Just it's just for demonstration. But it, you can see how you blend that with each other. Um, of course, you can change here as well and not use here uh, the a picture, you can also use a paper. And as you can see, there is a lot of orange. We have here solid paper. We place that solid paper on top of this mask and this is what you can do. You can see, it now blends into this orange and um, this is how you can use the painter's toolbox. Um, what else do we have? We have some ink here. This is also pretty, um, you need to check that. No, well, that's 300%. So this. And. Very important here. You can always change the, mo the mode here on top. Um, as you, This is on, on dissolve now. But maybe it looks better for you if you go to normal and then it's real like watercolor. It's really bleeding into each other. And the more you paint on top, the, th 
the the darker the color gets and the paint you can paint on top of it but i need to tell you that i always um use a wacom board and a and a and a pen when i use um those um dynamic um brushes and they are created for wacom board users of course because with it you can e much more easily paint um just the difference here here's the mouse also you don't you can't create and you can't paint with the mouse like like that and you don't have this pressure sensitive um um painting this works only if you have a wacom board and most of my dynamic um, brush tools are really with a pressure sensitive um settings and then we have let's see so we have here some pattern you go on top of it and what you also can do if you change uh, the color let's I'm gonna show you something for example you you make like a rainbow you start here with that one then you go into the next color and then blend with each other and then you use the next color and so on and then we have this one so and you get a like a rainbow okay so that's something you can create also with um with those brushes and and this is something you can create with um each and every one of those um brushes here concentrating <laughs> okay we have this lime green and we have a little bit of darker one then we have this aqua and the darker blue here and this dark green and dark blue and look at it you have a rainbow and this is what you can create with this with each and every one of those um, um, uh, dynamic brushes. Okay, and this is a little bit of a pen, noisy pen I have cre called it. And with it you can um, do that. What you also can do, um, if you have such a pen and you want to write something, there is um, in Photoshop CC, uh, here on top this smoothing and if you go up to it's mostly um, on zero percent but if you go up you can see that um, you can't draw edges anymore right? it's just, it starts to smooth and it works perfectly if you like to start to write something like what I'm gonna write here and you get really brave for something like that. Um, scratchy pen, you have that one. It's like that. And if you go here, smoothing up to, it smoothens all the lines. And also with that one, you can perfectly start to write if you have this pen with a um, with a mouse it's really hard to write let's try that hello so well it works and this is how it will so this is what you can draw and paint and write with um with the wacom board uh what else do we have scratch also that one is pretty cool and of course you can increase the size of the of the oops and uh, yes it's a little bit big and it and it the uh, grid disappears 
if you make it really huge and it seems wait I need to go back to that it's yes so you need to stay smaller on that one let's increase it a little bit yes so if you go on 80 pixels it start to get a uh, black or um the grid disappears and the smaller you get okay also, this is also, I think it's pretty cool um, um, to, to paint something in it. You get really cool effects and um, with it. And of course, you can start here maybe with overlay. So it intends here. And you can paint here with that one. And then we have, maybe we use that one. Um, as you can see, a lot, a lot of things to explore for you. And um, if you, if you like to see more, um, that I create some one of those digital painting or give you some more advice let me know come into the autology group and you can ask there for any um, um, if you have any questions um, I didn't flip very much now through the through the styles and this is how they look like just here randomly um, created styles and all and of course they are always seamless so um, you can use them um, always um, on the whole page and they are seamless and then we have this pattern pack which is really huge this is these are the patterns and the, you can combine them always with each other so if you go on top here with another and um, use that one and um, then we have here this paint style. So we do all now in green. Okay. It's so disturbing how they are. They scream the whole night. I don't know what's up with them on underneath me. It was so silent here. And I can always record my videos and since they are here in the house it's pretty loud and also until 12 at night so it's really hard to record videos without us hearing them scream around or doing whatever they do. So um, then we have those ones. As you can see, it's a huge, huge pack to combine and play and paint. And um, also what I recommend before I stop this video, um, what you can do is you can go to Pinterest, okay? And search for intuitive. This is the NBK Design Catalog. Have you ever saw that? Um, it's also, you can find everything what I have here. Um, in, in categories okay intuitive painting okay and this is um, in Pinterest and really what you can do this one just copy one of those um, what you maybe like this is something you like and place that Ooh. And again, oh no, now okay, place that here and delete everything and place that really underneath here. And then you can start 
only as a starting point, we've start to make here a circle, and you start a new layer, and another circle, and this is your starting point. And you will realize after a few elements, you start to, you, you are able to create your own intuitive painting. Um, so this is it. Now we have four layers. We have, um, we can create here the, uh, so we have that one. So then we use the pink here and this one and then we have that one and maybe a black one. And this is the starting point and um, we uh, that one. Noisy texture. We go here on normal and then we have here. You start here on oh, to pain. And then another layer. This is the most important. Always start a new layer. This is so, so, so important. And then make that one a new layer. And we have that between. And let's turn off this one. And then you can add here some of the paint. And then we go here. And then we add here. And this is how you build up such an intuitive painting. Um, and this is what I love. And um, this video is now turning into a 40 minute video again. And I hope you enjoy this video. And um, I hope you did learn something from it. And Please, if you have any questions, always feel free to come into the anthology group and um, uh, or write me any a mail or um, contact me via Facebook, whatever you want to. Um, I always try to help you or my CT um, always try to help you in the anthology group if you have any questions. And um, enjoy this really fun, huge collection and we're going to see us short in the next video. Bye and have a happy time.